Hello, I'm Markus Hess from the Medical Voice Center in Hamburg, Germany, and this is my colleague Susanne Fleischer, and we will show you how we perform endoscopy. Now let's have a look what happens when she rotates her head to the one side, then I have a look into the piriform sinus of the right side when she turns left. The other side is a little bit squeezed and if she turns the other way then this one opens up and the other side is more closed and squeezed. I can also go up and down, go up please, to see what is happening at the laryngeal side of the epiglottis but I cannot easily see the trachea, whereas if I ask her to chin tuck all the way down with the head, all the way down, and now give me a long inspiration, I can have a nice look into the trachea, but not to the epiglottis. So the head position also has to be in coordination with my dipping maneuver. It is important that this is done during inspiration and is finalized with retraction of the endoscope during the inspiratory mode. What now is interesting is that if I want to, let's say, see the left vocal fold, I turn her head to the left and then ask her again, give me a long inspiration. And back and now the right vocal fold and give me a long inspiration. As you can see now the right vocal fold is exposed. So turning the head as you can see I control the patient's head turn with my left hand and that facilitates exposure. What I want to do is I want to come into the larynx straight from the back. That's the best position. I don't want to touch the arytenoid on the medial aspect on this side or that side. That's why we have to learn with the rotation maneuver also to turn the head. Let's see what happens when she over extends, extends the neck inhale. Isn't that a beautiful view onto the laryngeal aspect of the epiglottis? Now let's see what happens. Exhale. When you flex your neck all the way down and give me a long inspiration. I can't go through here because I would probably elicit a gag response, but what I can do is I can ask her to say hey. Then I advance the endoscope and now give me a long inspiration. Now I can see <coughs> the trachea, but I elicited a gag response because this is the most, let's say, tickling um, advancement of the endoscope. So last time Exhale through the mouth. And now inhale. And I now estimated, because I did that a couple of times with her, that she can probably have a couple of seconds where she does that inspiratory movement.